And in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about how we can get GPS signals indoors, coming straight up. Hi, I'm Paul Simmons, and I'm the wayfinding expert. So today we're talking about how we can get GPS signals indoors. Most of us have a cell phone or mobile phone, and it's not difficult to get GPS in outdoor environments if we want to use Google Maps for getting from A to B. It's never really an issue, unless, of course, we are in an extreme environment, such as in a mountainous area. But trying to get GPS signals indoors is highly problematic and it's been a big issue for many years. But one company in Cornwall in England by the name of Faltec have provided a solution that is a licensed product and it's got many very, very good practical uses. First of all, let me explain what this product does. The repeater works with a GPS antenna that goes on top of a building. This GPS antenna draws in the GPS signal from the satellites. Then a coaxial cable feeds the signal into the building, inside the building. This signal is fed into a receiver box, which is quite small and compact inside the building. This GPS signal is then reproduced inside the building. And depending on the size of the building, you can install a number of repeaters and this will provide a signal throughout the building. So what are the uses of this technology? Number one, avoiding GPS acquisition delays. Imagine the command centre for a fire service. The command centre need to know exactly where the fire engine is as it leaves the building. At the moment there can be a break in the signal because as the vehicle is leaving indoors and before it connects to the outdoor GPS, there can be a delay in the connection between the signal. This type of GPS repeater provides a continuous signal and this means that the control room have an exact understanding of the location of vehicles at all times. This system by Faltec is also being used by the lifeboat service and by the police service. So it's really, really good for emergency services to ensure that there's this continuous signal between indoor and outdoor movements. Very, very useful. This is also extremely useful for manufacturers. Think about car makers and in the production line in, in the factory. If there's an inbuilt GPS system that is in the car, that is in the factory, how do you test the GPS system? Well, with these GPS repeaters, you can test the cars, the GPS systems, the GPS equipment whilst it's in the factory. Furthermore, this could be used, for example, in airport hangars, testing GPS equipment that is being put into aeroplanes. You don't need to go outdoors in the rain. You can stay indoors. You can test it on the production line. These GPS routers make this possible. Another example is in a laboratory. You might be testing GPS equipment for use in, in nature, for, you know, for in the natural world or, or for a scientific experiment. You can test these GPS technologies indoors in the laboratory. And this just makes it much, much easier for this type of situation. But there are a few basics to consider. Licensing. Is it legal to use this kind of GPS repeater in your country? The situation is that the rules are different in each country. I'm going to provide a link to further information so you can know exactly what the situation is for your country. This link will be in the information below. So if you click on the text where it says more, meaning more information, you'll be able to get further information after watching this video. Just to give one example of a country in the UK, Ofcom regulate the use of these GPS repeaters. So it does need to adhere to the Ofcom regulations and for the Faltec system, it, it indeed does. You might also be wondering if it's SBAS standard. This means satellite based augmentation system. So the Faltec system does meet this standard. Question of the day, what technologies are out there that provide GPS signals indoors, especially continuous signals, whereby there's movement from indoors to outdoors and outdoors to indoors. And so the technologies that provide a continuous signal without interruption between these indoor and outdoor environments. I would love to know what technologies exist. Give your comments below this video. It would be great to get this information. Just to state as well, I did not get paid for this video by Faltec. I just like what they've produced, so I wanted to do a video on, on this. 
Thank you for visiting this video. I'm doing a video every Friday at noon and there will be a lot more videos coming out which are about technology but also of course a wide variety of ideas about wayfinding and navigation. Thank you for visiting. I'm Paul Simmons, the wayfinding expert. Thank you and bye. Thank you.